I get nervous sometimes. You want to be black, son? You ever thought about it? Oh, yeah, I've thought about it. Yeah? I, when I was like, you know, from age, you know, 12 to 16, every white kid does, you know? Right. So then I definitely did. But now I think I would want to be Mexican next. I think for me, blacks still seem a little too risky. I would wait one more. Another year before you dabble? With another cycle. Like another, oh, another life cycle. cycle. Whoa, all right. Like reincarnated one time, be Latino. and then So it's risky that, be, now? Just being black? Or risky being black like in a car or something It's still like too that. risky for me. I get nervous a lot. Right. You know, I have fear and anxiety. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get nervous now, you wouldn't be a good black. Yeah. <laughs> nah, definitely. You couldn't handle traffic stops. Dude, like, do black no. people get nervous? Because it always seemed like to me when I was growing up, honestly, don't know, that black people never got... I was like, fuck, black people do not get nervous. Nah, we, see, we use different language. Like, you call it nervous, and then black people might call it shook. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was you nervous? Nah, I was... It's the same definition, but were you nervous? Nah, I was just a little shook. Yeah. I mean, we just don't identify with certain things like when it comes to uh, like depression. Yeah. White people can identify with depression, anxiety, post, whatever, post traumatic yeah. stress. They could deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you ask a, 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 a white person, are you stressed? Yeah, I'm really stressed. I feel a little <laughs> depressed. You ask a white person, you stressed? <laughs> you stressed? Black person like, nah, I ain't stressed. I'm just a little fucked up right now. <laughs> right on, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like that. It's, a, okay. it's the words you use. You know what I'm saying? And I know like like Charlemagne, the guy, he has this book called Shook One, and he was talking about the stigma with black people dealing with mental issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's as a person, he's saying from a person that's paying a therapist $100 an hour to talk to him about problems. Yeah. The average black person from the hood can't afford a therapist. What right. you could afford is a bag of weed, yeah. a bottle of Hennessy, and that's what we look through. That's how we get um, get we deal with mental issues. It's, it's not the way it should be, but we don't use the same words because you get different drugs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When you say, when you say I'm a little uh, stressed out, anxiety, you get Prozac, Xanax, and all that type of shit. If you say that to a black person, you get weed, somebody yeah. might try to give you a line of blow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not the right thing to do, but it's just different definitions. I see. You know? Oh, that's interesting, And all of us man. been a little fucked up right now. But the whole thing about being a little fucked up right now is how you cope with things. Coping is, is the number one thing you have to deal with with any mental issues. Can you cope with it? Yeah. Yep. Do they have like unique mental issues that you think black guys get that white guys don't get? I don't know if this is a mental issue, but a lot of black guys get, but white guys can't. Well, they can, but like jungle fever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that if that's a mental disorder, but it's something that's <laughs> it's something that's a little taboo in the, in, the, in the black community. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. And if you want to see another clip, then you can look at this clip or this clip. Either one of these. So did you pick one or are you still just watching me do this? Because this is alarming.